Just to wrap up that last thought because I was interrupted by the end of my shift. But I'm but I'm inspired or motivated by intellectual development, by learning and by constant self-improvement. That's really what drives me. And I don't know where it comes from. I don't know why that's the core cause for my hustle or for whatever I do. But that's what it is. So that's when I realized that I was different was when I saw people at work and they weren't as conscientious as me. They weren't as detail oriented. They would say things like, oh, that doesn't matter or you don't need to do that. Don't worry about it. Things like that, even though I wanted everything to be orderly, I wanted everything to be squared away. And I kind of, I mean, I knew this, that I was different in that regard when I was growing up, but not to the extent that actually is the case. Within the last year, for some reason, my awareness of it has been heightened. And I've just seen how different I am from most people. There are very few people. I think mostly when it comes to me trying to find a mentor or me trying to find a peer group that's overly conscientious and competent and ambitious, I've, I've found that where I found that to be the case where I'm like, wow, people like me, well, I don't want to sound arrogant, but people who are very ambitious are very rare. I think the key moment was when I finally met and worked with and lived with someone who I looked up to for a while, who I found to be a virtual mentor. I finally got to live with him and work with him, and I found that he wasn't that special. That I, I was actually a more secure and confident person than he was. That's when I realized I was different. That so many people looked up to him, yet I could see through the matrix. I could see what was actually going on, how insecure he was. Because he does have that charisma where people look up to him as a guru. But I was able to see past all that shit. And I was able to see how people who were insecure t attached themselves to him. And that's when I knew that I was different. When I wasn't that, that kind of guy, I used to be a little bit in some regard, but I have enough self-judgment and self-awareness and awareness of other people and empathy to realize that he's actually pretty insecure himself. So me being able to see past all that made me realize that I am different. So that's all my, my thoughts for now. Um, pretty hot in here. I'm in my car in Austin, probably about close to 100 degrees in my car right now because I have all the windows closed. Uh, it's probably like 90 degrees. Anyway, I'm going to head to the gym, take a shower, then make that call with my client, then maybe do a little bit of work and then head to bed. So peace.